So, hello guys. This is me, the Archido. So, for today naman, ang tatalakayin is Near East. O yung sumunod sa ating prehistoric architecture. Sumunod doon is Near East. So, let's start. Hmm. Um, Near East started as a villages on the flat land between the Tigris and the Euphrates. Okay. Ah, uh, tiyatawag na Mesopotamia. Ito yung nag -re refers to Persia, Austria, and Babylon. Okay. And ito yung nag-turn into city-state with population of thousands. Yung bawat city-states na yun surrounded by a wall and dominated by a large temple. And meron silang kings, craftsmen, soldiers, farmers, and priests. And fought and traded with each other okay? bawat city-state. Sometimes would conquer each other and form an empire. Okay. In Mesopotamia, city-state of UR, Babylon, Agade, Ashur, and Damascus. Noong 2334 BC, King Sarjan of Agade formed the first major empire. 1792 BC naman, next naman nun is si King Harabi. And doon na nag-start yung laws to keep order. Then, invention of writing, yung pitograms or uniform records on clay tablets. Okay. Astoria naman, Based in Ashur and biggest empire under King Ashur Badipal, conquered Mesopotamia, Syria, Palestine, and Egypt. Then, the Persia began by Cyrus the Great from 559 to 529 BC. It then covered Mesopotamia, Anatolia, uh, Eastern Mediterranean, Bactria. Indus Valley and North Africa. Darius I, Darius I had provinces ruled by a satrap, uh, an example of a satrap, who guarded the roads, collected taxes, and sold the army. Mas nakakataas sila sa army. Local peoples were allowed to keep their religions and customs. Capital moved from Susa to Persopolis. Okay? Dati, ang capital is Susa, ngayon Persopolis na lang na. Network of roads linking the royal court to other parts of the empire, from Susa to Persia to Sardis. Yun ang natukod niya. Ito yung mga, yung panahon na yun, ito yung mga tinitrade. Raw materials, carpets, spices, yeah. And Darius and Circes tried to conquer Greece. Ended with defeat, defeat of Darius III. Okay. to Alexander the Great of Macedonia. Okay? Macedonia. Talo sila ni Alexander the Great. So, pagdating naman sa religion, yung panahon mo, and here is, uh, each city worship their own God for protection. Okay? People aim to make peace with their wrathful God. Okay? Nakadya sila. So, pagdating naman sa geology, geography, Fertile Crescent, ito yung, ito yung 
more fun with few natural advantages aside from water and soil. And dito rin yung mga import materials like hardwood and uh, metals dito pa rin. Also, desert of the Arabian Peninsula, mountains and plateau, plateau from west to east. So, no, kung tayo sa architectural character, pagdating sa materials, most na makikita talaga ng panahon din yun, yung mga available was a clay, soil, reeds, and rushes. Okay? Ito yung mga ginagabot. Bricks made of mud, chopped straw, sun-dried, or kiln-dried. Okay? Sorry. Timber, copper, heat, lead, gold, and silver is torpid. Okay. Decoration. Colonial wind pools, okay. Colonial wind pools guarding the chief portals. Polychrome lace works in blue, white, yellow, green, and murals, okay. Murals of decorative for the stone. So, kung hindi naman dyan, siguro kung makita nyo na yan, kung nag-hogo na kayo, yun yung sinatawag niya. Famous na Sigurats, okay? Ito yung isa siyang religious building built next to temples. On top was a small temple. Okay. Ito ay based on white temple. Ang purpose na ito is to get the temple closer to heaven and provide access from the ground. Okay. So, yun ang paniniwala din na. Kaya mataas yung temple is para maging close down to sa heaven. Okay. And magkaroon ng access sa ground. And the elephants niya, the types niya, the types of what? And two or three stage sigurat. And seven stage sigurat during the Astrian period. Okay? Ito yung White Temple, Sigurat. This one naman is the Temple of Palaces. Okay? King celebrated their victory. So, okay? Doon nila siya celebrate wealth and power by building the palaces. Okay? Yun yung, mag, yun yung kanilang way ng kanilang pagsa-celebrate. Pagtayo ng palaces. It's also symbol of wealth ng isang lugar and power. Mas mataas, mas malakas ang power nun sa, ano, sa buhay. Palace platform at Persepolis ruins still exist 50 years to build 50 years. Ah. People from all over the empire were involved in this construction. Okay. Variety of architectural style, parts, audience hall, reception hall, store rooms, for tributes and valuables, military quarters, a padana, tolles. The next naman is the Megaron. Okay. Ang tawag sa dwelling sa panahon ng Near East is Megaron. So, entrance at the end rather than on the long sides, okay? Portico is colonnaded space forming an entrance of first vestibule, okay? With a roof supported on one side by columns, 
suited to climb it of Anatolia Plateau. Okay. Well, that's all. Thank you. Uh, sana may patutugan kayo. Thank you. And that's all para sa Dear East natin.